Ho, 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 ho. Looks like we got another billionaire who wish he bought more Bitcoin. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another daily cryptocurrency news article. Today's article is on legendary investor Jim Rogers sees the end of the U.S. dollar as a neutral currency and regrets not having bought more Bitcoin. So yeah, let's see what he has to say on that U.S. dollar part, though. Billionaire investor Jim Rogers believes that the U.S. dollar is now no longer viewed as neutral and the Washington has changed the rules. He is still worried that governments might ban cryptocurrencies, but regrets not having bought enough Bitcoin last year. In an interview with the Economic Times on Sunday, Jim Rogers said that he owns U.S. dollars uh, basically because of the historic view that when there is chaos in the economy, most investors go to the dollar. But viewing it as a safe haven is not so much anymore. However, Rogers thinks that the times have changed and that the dollar is losing its respect as a safe haven, primarily because of the sanctions that the U.S. government levies, or levies against those it does not like, preventing them from using the dollar. He feels that some countries are searching for an alternative to the dollar, given the perceived unfair nature of Washington policy. He doesn't know which currency it will be yet, but hopes that he will recognize it and buy it when it appears. Although a proud American, he doesn't like what is being done to his country's currency. On being asked whether he thought that cryptocurrencies could ever be an alternative to the dollar, he is still very unsure. He thinks the U.S. government likes control and a monopoly when it comes to money. If the U.S. has crypto money, but the U.S. is not going to say this, is new money, governments like control, governments like monopoly. I do not like it, but that is the way governments are, and I just suspect that they will either tax it or regulate it or outlaw it or something because they do not want to lose control. Mm -hmm. Rogers is also concerned for his daughters because of the fact that the U.S. is the biggest debtor nation in the world. As the debt rises day by day, he worries that his daughters will not be able to pay it and will have a huge burden around their necks for the future. He believes that bad times are just around the corner, saying, In Washington, they say, do not worry, we will never have another bear market. We have things under control. I know that they are either liars or fools, because I know we have always had bear markets, and we will have another bear market. And when it comes, it is going to be very, very bad. I do not know when it is going to come. I suspect next year. So that's his views on that. Because, yeah, people forget to realize that we run on cycles and there will be a crash coming and something bad is coming. The U.S. literally printed 80% of the U.S. dollar supply within the last two years, which is crazy to think. Uh, what else is going on? Housing prices galore is going up, which... Yeah, people don't realize, like, usually it's the, I don't want to say boomers, no, how do I want to say it? It's like my parents' generation, like, all they've ever seen is up, is what Robert Kiyosaki says. They never experienced a downturn of a market, and yeah, so, whew, so it's going to hit a lot of people hard who aren't paying attention, and this does cause a lot of sh concerns for people who follow money and just follow the economics of what's going on in the world, and then now we're sanctioning off Russia from using it, and then other stuff going on, it's like, Stuff's about to go down, and I hope you guys are listening and paying attention. So, guys, if you like this video, thumbs up it, subscribe, share with your friends. Until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.